Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and you're watching a Christmas card tutorial. Or maybe it's not really a tutorial, it's more of a craft along with me where you can see me craft, uh, try out some ideas and I will chat to you in the meantime. <laughs> so, I think I've told you in last Monday's video that making Christmas cards is kind of new to me. But all of a sudden I had this idea that I wanted to try, but then I always have to wait for daylight because I cannot film at night. <laughs> so I was quite excited to get straight into it to see how my idea would work out. I'm actually making two Christmas cards, uh, two varieties. Uh, I love how you can see my reflection in the paper. I'm making two varieties of the same Christmas card and I'm starting by Oh, that reflection is beautiful. I'm starting by using my, what's this called again? I think it's called Circle Spin and Trim. Circle, cir I don't know, it's from We Are Memory Keepers and as you can see, you can use it to uh, cut circles from paper. And I'm cutting different shapes, different sizes of circles <laughs> uh, out of that paper. It's a paper pad, two paper pads I have from Action. I bought them a long time ago, but to be honest, I never use sparkly paper, so I never got a chance to use it, but Christmas seems like the perfect time to use sparkly paper. So what I'm using is that sort of silver mirror-y paper, which keeps reflecting my face. And I'm also using white glitter paper and silver glitter paper. And... Uh, yeah, I'm just cutting different shapes. And I'm actually thinking of making more cards in this style because I quite like how it turned out. And a handmade Christmas card is kind of cool, I think. Um, so yeah, I got a blank square card from Action again. And I'm just moving the circles around to see which setup I like most. Wow, I just listened to my first, the first part of this video voiceover <laughs> and I sound so stressed. Um, so I'm going to try again uh, to talk a little bit in a more relaxing way because I know that a lot of you also enjoy my videos because they calm you down and I know that I can make videos however I want but I do kind of like making them in a relaxing way. And it's also good for me in general to relax because um, I'm editing. This is Monday's video, of course, and I'm also doing the voiceover on Monday. So I'm nice and late again. But luckily <laughs> this time Noose is not being the annoying brat that she can be. Um, this time she's actually sleeping on the couch. Very cute, not making any noises, not trying to get any plants down. <laughs> If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out last week's videos, okay? She was being absolutely annoying. But okay, uh, it's not actually the voiceover that is making me stressed because like I also said last week, I do quite enjoy these chats. I like making videos. I like getting to know you guys better as you maybe also like to know, to get to know me better. But it's just my well-being in general. I don't want to always bother you with my mental health and my anxiety, but I have learned that it's okay for me to share those things and it can actually help some of you. But okay, long story short, I just I have a little bit of anxiety today, not anxiety in general. How do I explain this? It, today is Monday, right? And Monday and Tuesdays are my weekends because we're the cat cafe is closed um, on Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> so then I have my weekend and this weekend, the actual weekend has been kind of busy, you know, with family stuff and working and um, so today I'm supposed to relax, but I feel stressed because I feel I have two days of weekend now and then oh beautiful reflection again and then one day of work and then another day off and then two days of work which is kind of okay but I feel like I have to put all of my things into these two days you know all of my chores I feel like I have to make um, I, I feel like I have to clean the house today cook for the upcoming days make videos do voiceovers 
basically this always happens where um, I stress myself out over having to do a lot of stuff well usually it's not even that much like my a big part of my anxiety is my body warning me for a lot of stress while there's not that much stress like for example that is also what happened with school like i would get stressed out and it would feel as if i would have to study 100 subjects that's how stressed I was while it was only five, for example. So I would always feel like I didn't have enough time to do everything. I didn't have enough energy to do everything. And that's also what happens now. Even though I'm not in school anymore, I, I still feel like I have 10 days of work to cram into two days, which is absolutely ridiculous because there's not that much I have to do, just the household chores and I want to finish Friday's video. But that's okay. I mean, it's relatively... Uh, it's only a little bit of work, but my body keeps telling me my anxiety is as high as if I have a ton of stuff to do. So I don't want to bother you with this, but I just wanted to also put this side of my anxiety out there because I usually talk about the performance anxiety, but this is also a big part of my anxiety where I will... Oh, that reflection is really bothering me. <laughs> but a big part of my anxiety is also that there's like a voice in my head saying you have to be responsible, you have to finish all your chores and you don't have enough time, basically. So I was quite curious to see if any of you actually recognize that. And if not, that is also totally okay. I was just curious and I wanted to share that with you. But I will tell you what I've been doing in the meantime because, of course, I used three of those... Um, circles and I turned them into Christmas ornaments yay so then I used those um, metallic markers that I got from Stabilo last week I told you about that in my first winter themed video I used them to do all sorts of decorating around the page again this is not sponsored I'm genuinely excited I wrote happy holidays because of course there might people might not celebrate Christmas or something I wanted to make something kind of Christmassy but not specifically for Christmas, although that they are Christmas ornaments. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I, I made some silver dots around the page and I tried to draw like, I don't know what you call those branches <laughs> in green. And then I also circled the circles with those metallic markers. It's quite fun and Christmassy. You cannot really see it on camera, but they are quite sparkly, which I really love. And now I'm doing uh, a golden border around the card. I don't know if I love this yet, but it does make the card look a little bit more finished because otherwise it would be a little bit empty. And then I also have silver uh, Nouveau crystal drops that I put around the page. I'm really, really happy because I can now finally use cr the silver. I don't know why, but I don't really use a lot of silver in my uh, crafting. <laughs> so I was quite happy to use the silver Nouveau crystal drops. And that is the first Christmas card finished. And I'm now going to make a completely different one. At least I think it's quite different. I'm trying that tea. It was something like a... Uh, I cannot read it now, but it was something like happy tea or something. I got it from one of you guys, so I was quite curious to try it out. And it's really, really nice and herbal, which I absolutely love. So I again have a blank card from Action, but I'm going to do a background this time which I thought was kind of cool. <laughs> um, I wanted to say something else. Oh yes, very important. Um, these two cards will go out to subscribers because I am writing a lot, a ton of Christmas cards and I also want to try and send Christmas mail to, um, to reply to the PO box mail. So what I'm doing, I think this is a very good idea, okay? <laughs> I'm going to pat myself on the shoulder. I really like the way it turned out. Uh, what I did is I got some of that beautiful, I absolutely love that design Christmas paper from uh, Vlinders in Je Buik. I did the unboxing in one of the PO Box videos. She sent me a bunch of Christmas, how do you call that? Christmas wrapping paper. And this one is actually my favorite, although it may seem quite simple. I really love simple in this case. I mean, also the, the back of the paper is 
uh, light pink, which is kind of cool. I'm not, again, I never, my videos or talking about stuff is never sponsored, okay? I just genuinely get excited about these ideas. So I use Christmas wrapping paper as the back of the background of the card. And then I'm again going to do the circles, uh, but slightly different this time. Um, so I'm doodling with the silver metallic marker uh, this time. And although it's not that clear on camera, it's actually really, really visible in real life. So you can actually see the difference between the marker. You can actually see the marker on paper quite well. So I again make the Christmas ornaments and did some drawing. And I'm still going to send these out. I will randomly pick from the subscriber mail folder and send it out to one of you in there. Um, <laughs> but I was, oh yeah, I have a question for you guys. Are you sending out Christmas cards this year? I started with my Christmas card list, which I always do first. I always make a list of everyone I want to send a card to. This is just family, friends and pen pals and it's already, I kid you not, I already have 30, like three zero cards to write. So yay, I have, I finished seven so far. So mm -hmm, I'm well on my way, but nowhere near done. So uh, <laughs> I'm hoping to also do a lot of pen pal, I mean, also do a lot of subscriber meal uh, Christmas cards, but first I have to finish my family, friends and pen pals. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. I really hope you enjoy um my winter themed videos but i will try and do the winter themed videos on monday and then usually there will be a normal video on fridays and i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you again very very soon and <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to my personal life channel which i will link down below okay see you soon bye bye